Assistive technology relates to the tools required to maintain, improve, or increase functional capabilities to bridge the gap between students' performance and the demands of the curriculum. Assistive technology is defined in the IDEA as any item, piece, or equipment, or product system, whether acquired commercially off the shelf, modified, or customized, that is used to increase, maintain, or improve functional capabilities of a child with a disability. In the digital age, electronics no longer provide only classroom distractions, but also a fantastic educational tool, especially within special education. Schools are now equipping their students with the right tools, specifically iPads, which are now being utilized to enhance the student's learning process. The iPad is considered a high-tech device which can be adapted to many technology programs, thereby reducing the need for multiple devices. When it comes to universal, universal design for learning, this is a tool that can level the playing field for many. The iPad can be equipped with apps such as audiobooks, word prediction, vocabulary, sight words, math facts, reading comprehension, organizational skills, and drawing skills. An iPad is a fresh innovating tool students enjoy using at school. Next. Next. What was that? That was the seat. The seat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She's watching you do your work. From the dog. Get tea. Get tea. <coughs> Gate. Gate. Shappy. No, you don't say the E. You say the A. Shape. Shape. Cup. 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 Key. Cup. Key. Cup. Cup. Key. Cup. What does that one say? Great job. Cup. Cup. Cake. Cake. Cupcake. Cupcake. What does that one say? Pancake. Good job. Blackie. No. Black. Blake. Blake. You don't pronounce the E at the end. Computer-based instruction supports learning activities in the classroom. Software that gives immediate positive feedback can provide motivation and focus for students with learning disabilities. Special software can enable students with developmental disabilities to compensate for motor disturbances, organize behavior, and communicate with a minimum of stress, fatigue, and misunderstanding. Talking software can help a child hear the words and see them on the monitor while reading. Special software can also help a child with attention deficit disorder to reduce the effect of external stimuli, increasing his or her disability to focus on classwork. Andy, what are you doing in there? Look. 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 Smart boards assist teachers make the transition from what used to be a tool for teachers only be a tool for the entire classroom. The smart board can also allow for quick development of interactive activities for the whole entire class. Teachers can use assistive technology software activities to instruct all students on new skills in language and learning. Assistive technology applications can also be integrated with iPad applications to support students with disabilities.
And then show me what the answer is. When you have it, chin it. And I want to hear you say chin it. Five. Five. Chin I don't it. Want it. Nope. I want to see it chin it. I want you to show me when we chin it. Show me when you chin it. Three. Put it to your chin. Five. Chin it. Chin me your whiteboards. Can I show me? Nope. You have chin to do this. Chin it. Let me see it. Let me... Okay, so I use these uh, telephone walkie-talkies. Uh, to teach conversation and phone skills with my severely handicapped students. And what I'll do is I will go um, within 100 feet away with one phone and have the other phone with the student. And you just pick up your receiver. If you press any button, um, the other phone will ring. Sorry. And then the student answers the phone and we work on how to answer the phone and how to answer questions and keep the conversation going and it's a really good tool to use. Okay, so another tool that I use um, along with these phones with students with autism um, or other um, handicaps or disabilities is the iPad. And I use the Proloquo 2 uh, to go as a communication device. And um, what I like about it is you can set this up um, specifically for any user, you can. I have a list of different students uh, that I use it for, and you can personalize it for each student. And when that student comes to see me for speech, um, they'll have their own um, screen set up. I. So, for example, um, I'm working on pronouns with one student, so this is a page that he has. So for another student, we might have it a little bit more complex where I want and then he can go into his files and pick whatever banana. he wants I want banana and use it to talk and um, express his needs so this tool works really well and what I like about it is you can adapt it to all different levels so basic to more complex Okay, so this augmentative device is called the GoTalk 9 Plus. Um, GoTalk is the company, they make it in simpler versions. There's a GoTalk 4 with, with only four pictures, and it goes all the way up to 32 pictures. And what we're able to do is program um, on this one nine pictures at a time. Uh, the three on top will always stay the same, the nine on the bottom we can change. And there are five different levels. So for each period, I can make specific nine pictures to go for that period, and we just change the level and insert those pictures for that period. So actually, we're able to put up to 45 pictures on this device. Um, and this is portable, um, pretty resilient to falls, and it's just an easier, simpler version of augmentative communication for kids with communication difficulties and autism. Pero sus, sus exámenes de ellos son diferentes. ¿Qué es eso? 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 ¿Qué es e